to live like that I wanna live like I did back then With the stars in my eyes and the blood from the heart of my pen And when my hood pulled up in the light of the night I was smoking the bed like a ghost white light on the turnpike Didn't lift my world off me But you said let it go So I didn't now I see My friends are gonna leave me If they don't believe that they can save me You don't have to live like that You don't have to live like that It's like a bolt of lightning Your stop life moves on And then you wake up frightened What's going on? What's going on? I'm waking up tired God has appeared I never ever really found Real faith in the fear Don't have to live like that Seed in your garden and doubt. You didn't lift my world off me, but you said let it go, so I didn't now I see. My friends are gonna leave me if they don't believe that they can save me. You don't have to live like that. You don't have to live like that. It's like a bolt of lightning. You stop life moves on. Tired. No God has appeared I never ever really found real faith in the fear Just let me wash it all away Just let me wash it all away You'll never ever really find real faith in the fear Don't have to live like that Don't have to live like that You don't have to live like that don't have to live like that. Straight from New Jersey, we got the guys from Steel Train. What's up, guys? Thanks for being on the show. Yay! How did you guys become Steel Train? We met as children in um, private school. Evan was a real bad kid, and I thought he was kind of cool. Yeah, that's the opposite. That's the opposite. And, uh, and we, we all had these bands in, in school, and it was actually part of this like really exciting scene in New Jersey that actually turned into like bands like Mike and the Romance and Saves the Day, and those are all sort of like people that we were like playing in like firehouses with. And that's that's where the band really started, and that's where we sort of learned how to play, and that's sort of still the band we are. Anyways. And you guys are on tour right now with Tegan and Sarah, so how was touring life like? I mean, you were just saying at first how like you're only here for the day. Yeah. Well, it doesn't matter where we are, no offense to like your city, um, just because when we're on tour, it's only about the people that we're with. You also, I have heard that you tour with your family. I mean, that must be kind of comforting home away from home. Are they, are they here? Somewhere. My mom and dad. <laughs> How is that? It's great. I think on this tour, probably like the first two weeks, we had different family. Yeah. Daniel's parents were out and my parents were out. Uh, Justin's parents were out. Do they have their own minivan or whatever? That no, everyone, we all travel together and um, it's nice to have a piece of home when we're gone so long. Yeah, I can imagine. What are you guys' current projects right now? Working on a new album? Yeah, it's coming out soon. June, sometime in June, right? It's in the can, as they say. Yeah. And it's really exciting, and it's really, um, it's really intense, is what it is. And it's a little nerve-wracking to put new music out there. Um, Definitely. Because that, that's really the biggest thing that I think about is what people are going to think of it. And, um, you know, we're not like a group of people that don't care. Okay, last kind of random question. If you could punch anybody right now, who would it be? Angela Lansbury. Well, Angela Lansbury? No, she would, like, die. I know, she's really old, yeah. I'm Jack from the band Steel Train, and you're watching B-Sides. And I, too, would like to punch Angela Lansbury into Rush Limbaugh. <laughs> <laughs>